for us necessary but extremely draining. And of course, has the as has the pursuit of justice for Caroline over the last eight years. But the Dickinson's ordeal still wasn't over. Montez immediately lodged an appeal. A retrial took a further year to come to court in June 2005. Again, Montez was convicted, but lodged another appeal, which he later withdrew. This all happened after the shocking truth had emerged of just how dangerous Montez was. At his first trial and at his second trial, his list of previous convictions was, was, was read out. It took something between five and ten minutes, really, to uh, read out the list of previous convictions. Over a 20-year period, Francisco Arce Montez had committed a catalogue of serious sexual attacks all across Europe. Four charges of rape in Germany, 14 suspected rapes in Spain, plus another attempted rape in France, all before murdering Caroline Dickinson. Here is an example of a pure sexual pervert, but a man who had found himself on a slippery slope of sexual perversion, and uh, who never would have been able to uh, crawl back up that, uh, that, 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 that slippery slope. A pervert like him st stop only when we stop him. Because it's a, it's a way of life for him. It's deviant, of course, but it's a way of life. It is too late to change, and it doesn't win a change. I think he is very, very dangerous. The Caroline Dickinson case raised major questions about the levels of cooperation between police forces across Europe. Why wasn't he stopped sooner? Why wasn't he arrested by, by the Spanish in the autumn of 1997? The name, his name was on, a, was on the desk of a policeman in, in Madrid, in Interpol in Madrid. Why wasn't, why wasn't he arrested then? The reason why he wasn't arrested then was because there was lack of cooperation between uh, the French, certainly between the French and the Spanish uh, police forces. John Dickinson himself has always said, continues to say, that there is not enough uh, cooperation between the various police forces of, of Europe. It was very difficult to find because he didn't have a, a he didn't stay a, in one place. Yes, we know that now that he was in the States, he, he, he was in London, he was in the Netherlands, so he was a traveler, a migrant, and very difficult, uh, this type of people to, to identify, to to find, to find. If I had been a member of Caroline Dickinson's family, my anger would not merely have been directed at Arce Montez. An accused cannot justify himself. However, a citizen watching the accused might well ask himself a few questions. Yes, here is someone who committed a crime, but isn't there an element of failure on my part or that of other citizens? Couldn't I somehow have stopped him before he committed the crime? It's a question which society has to ask itself, and if it doesn't, then this kind of thing could happen again. John Dickinson has always campaigned for an international DNA database, which would help combat criminals who move between countries. I think it's definitely got to be the way forward, uh, not just in France, but the whole of Europe. Uh, any police officer in this country will explain the merits of it and how it's been beneficial in solving so many crimes uh, and it's only been up and running a few years it's got to be, be got to be the way forward it's not only whose time has come it's overdue and i think internationally the police community needs to ensure that the governments in all of their countries use this dna system to track down and identify criminals but montez's eventual arrest and prosecution had demonstrated that when police forces across countries and even continents do work together, the results can be extremely effective, even if a little bit of luck is needed. There's good luck and there's bad luck in any case. When you have bad luck, you try to work around it. When you have good luck, you just take the ball and you run with it as fast as you can. And we had some very good luck on our side of the Atlantic with the case. It was not luck at the beginning because we made a lot of work in order to get this list. The first thing that Arsimontes was on the list. I don't think the gendarmerie uh, gave up hope because they came up with a name. Grinding police work, never giving up. Years, 
been days, weeks, months, years. Sooner or later, the, the law catches up with you, if not your conscience, and it could be 5, 10, 15 years, but sooner or later, for, for a crime as heinous as this one, you, you will be caught and you will be prosecuted. The murder of Caroline Dickinson and the hunt for her killer will be remembered for the incredible series of events that led to his capture. But ultimately, it was due to the relentless campaigning of her father, John Dickinson, who never gave up the hope that the culprit would one day be caught and he would get justice for his daughter. First thing I'd like to say that this is about Caroline or Kaz as some of her friends knew her. Although her life was short, she was happy. We knew she had a life ahead of her full of promise. We have some wonderful memories that we will cherish and she will never be forgotten.